I'm about a tenth of a mile from the top. But look at this view and the trail coming up. I thought that was a nice picture. Boy, rough, 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 but I'm doing it. I'm having a good time today, too. All right, made it to the top. 4,902 feet elevation of Twin Peak Mountain, or South, South Twin. A lot of other hikers up here. and Check out these views, though. See forever. All right, let's head relax and head on. All right, just left. Okay, you can see it here. Up there, those people are. Came down this trail, heading out. This is the view heading out top of all these trees going down this stuff here Let's see if I can do this with do this rock see without slipping and busting your butt that's the hard part having to climb down all this stuff Sometimes I've noticed going downhill takes just as much time as it does going uphill on these You're having to go down all this stuff and it's tricky There's always water in places too, so it's always wet and muddy So I put this up so I can get down this all right, I'm sitting here at Gaio Mountain, or Gaia, however you say it. This is a beautiful lunch spot. Let me turn the camera around and show you. There's a Huckleberry fan over here. And I am just sitting here having my lunch. I'm having a, a tortilla with some um, tuna fish. i got some uh, cheese and crackers and some Oreos and a fruit cup. So that's my lunch, just sitting there relaxing and heading on soon. Tardy 11.4 more today. Check out this ridge I'm walking on. Mountains in the distance and all below me is this huge rock field. And up here, more rock field that goes up to pretty big cliffs up there. Sure is pretty beautiful. Simply amazing out here. Alright, I made it to my campsite. I'm at 1848.6, 1848.6. I did whopping 17.1 today in the whites. That's rough. But it was just worked out perfectly because I had a big downhill at the end. I was able to do a few extra miles, so I said, like, why not? My campsite here behind me. There's my tent. I'm actually camped out here by a parking lot. There's a parking lot right there. And for dinner tonight, I am eating Sweet Baby Ray's. Honey barbecue beef jerky. Pretty good stuff. And I've already made some uh, mashed potatoes. It's getting late, so I'm going to eat. It's getting chilly out. I'm ready to eat and go lay down the tent. So that's what the plan is. Just got here about 15 minutes ago. Everything's set up. I was time to relax and go get my tent and get warm. Now have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. All right, good morning. Morning of day 151. I can't put this... Uh, Little park on the wasn't supposed to, but if nobody was back there, I was back in the woods, nobody seen me really. So camped there and got a good night's sleep. It was quiet. 
So I actually slept really good. And so I'm going to hack out today. But my issue is the food because I'm able to do less miles in the whites because of um, how tough the terrain is. So I've only got three days worth of food left. And I'm going to try to do at least 12 to 15 miles a day. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of food before I get to the next resupply, which is only like 47 miles. But I'll be up in the whites, up in the way up in the mountains. You know, I'm supposed to south camp up there. So I'm trying to figure out how to get from point to point and get my miles in and make sure I can get enough. I think i got to figure it out where I can do three full days and the fourth day I just go in empty in the town. Maybe do like a 10 mile day in the town and just barely have enough to get there. So we'll see how it's going to work out. I'm hoping some of these huts will have food we can actually buy. If that's the case, then I'll be good. But most of them, the ones I came across so far haven't had anything really but these other ones are supposed to be like full service huts they said so i'm gonna find out when i get there and we'll see what it's gonna be like i'm walking down this road right now you see behind me here i'm almost to this next parking area then i get there and i got a 3.7 mile climb to get to this first peak and after that it's gonna be just running and running a ridge and I might get to Mount Washington today. It's like a seven mile climb from here up to Mount Washington total. But to that first ridge, it's like 3.7. So it's going to be a rough climb. It's going to be slow going. It may take four hours just to get up the stupid thing. Who knows? But I'm going to give it my best shot. We're going to have a great day. We're going to enjoy it. Thank God for it. And uh, see you guys up there. All right. This is my first... Uh, Clearing, I guess you call it. Yeah, 1.5 miles to go. Look at the road down there, how little it looks. 1.5 miles to go to the top of Mount Webster. Now I got a bunch more miles and mountains to climb over today. It's just pretty. I'm going to take a break here for a minute, I think. All right, I got about a tenth of a mile to go to reach this peak. This is what I'm looking at. I went up all this, and look what I got to go up. Let's see if I can zoom out on this. Come on. It's not letting me zoom out. Anyway. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but anyway, I gotta climb up all this. Probably doesn't do it justice in the camera, but all oh, this steep, rocky terrain. Somehow I gotta climb up this. Yippee! It's fun. I like this part of it, honestly. This is fun part of climbing. Okay, this is the top of Mount Webster. Not much to look at up here, but I'm gonna take a break. Oh, to me, I'm about. Let's see what time it is. Hold on. It is so three hours to do two and a half miles. So it's not very good, but in the whites, that's all you can do. So I'm going to sit and relax and take a break and carry on. I don't know if you can see this over there, but way Austin, there's a uh, building. I don't know if that's one of the huts or if that's uh, something else, but I'm heading that direction, so maybe that's where I'm heading to. I've got three miles to go to the next hut. And that might be about three miles. I don't know. But it's a good ways from here. So anyway, still relaxing for a minute. Alright, this is the view from Mount Jackson. I guess we're going over that way. Alright, so I'm sitting inside one of the huts here, having lunch. 
and have the uh, tuna fish. And they have a big piece of um, coffee cake here. So this is a lunch break, nice little spot to sit and relax. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna head on, try to do some more laughs. All right, this is the top of Mount Pierce. And over here right in front of me is where I'm headed. Up and over that thing. So as I was up on top of Mount Pierce, these two college girls that work at the hut there came up and they were a part of a search and rescue team this morning, I guess. There was another girl, a hiker. I don't know if she's a through hiker or day hiker or what, but apparently she fell somewhere by Mount Washington and broke her ankle. So they had to airlift her out and those two girls hiked up here to assist and see what they can do to help her. So this goes to show you this place is dangerous. Let me turn to there's water everywhere. This is the trail. Everything is slick and wet. There's lots of mud. It's real easy to fall. And I fell yesterday twice. Skin my arm up once and a hand. Looking nothing too bad. But you gotta be careful. Sometimes be take my time, watch every step placement. And probably a good idea not to hold the phone while I'm doing this. <laughs> so go up, see there? I almost slipped. Just in that little flat part right there. So let me put this up before I fall. Y'all take care. All right, still hiking this trail. I got to get up this little mountain, and then the trail goes all the way up that ridge to that big mountain and across it. And that's where I'm going for the night. But oh my goodness, it's just kind of demoralized me looking at it this way. Almost like I'm never going to make it. But step at a time, little by little. So we're going to make it. All right, that's where I'm heading, the top of Mount Jackson up there. I'm halfway there. That ridge over there is where I just came from. Uh, these cairns here, this is what you go by up here. They don't believe in spray painting their mountains, I guess, it's with um, blazes. So you have to kind of follow these. I guess that way too, during the snow, you can still see them. This makes sense, I guess, but... Oh my goodness. This is rough, rough, rough. Oh. Gonna do it though, I'm positive. All right, AT goes this way. I had a huge blessing. I forgot the AT does not cross or summit every mountain out here. It gives you the option to summit some of them by a blue blaze if you want, with Jackson happen to be one of the blue blazes. So I kind of basically just bypass it down here. Thank God. Now I'm heading on, I got 2.2 miles to go. Man, I hasn't hired that way in Mount Clinton, but. I don't have to do those, thank God. I do have to go to this one though. I don't know if you see those hikers way up there on the ridge. I'm heading up there. Uh, at least I enjoy this exposed ridge hiking that I do just in the wood. At least I can see where I'm going and how much is left. Even though it's daunting. I don't know if you can see this, but way up there, that's Mount Washington. Way up there is where I'm going. Not tonight. Tomorrow I'll probably make it up there. But that's the goal. That's one of the biggest mountains on the AT. I think Kentucky is as close as that. But the highest points, um, Clayman's down with Tennessee. But this mountain's a good second, I think. It's highest up here, I believe we're going to go. It's a... Uh, I think 5,000 something feet, close to 6,000 or more. I'll let you know when I actually get up there. But tonight's gonna come with these two little small ones. And I'll be done for the night, hopefully. If they have room for it, hopefully they do. All right, I made it to where I'm staying at the hut. This is what they call the dungeon, because it's literally like a dungeon. It's all closed in. There's some kind of mold in here too, but it ain't too bad. It's a place to sleep tonight, so. I've had six people, plus there's a puppy dog named Reese. Hi, Reese. He's trying to get out, but the owner's got her tied up. The owner of the puppy was told he couldn't have the dogs inside, so he's kind of forced to keep the dog in here. So I'll go out here and show you the rest of the hut in just a second. It does have a big steel door on it. But this is the Lake of the Clouds hut. Tomorrow, that's where we're going, up top up there. A mile and a half up, I think it is. But check out these views. Walk back around the front. 
Get ready to go have dinner and relax, finally. I haven't been told about miles yet, but I think it's like 11 something today. So, for the whites, that's not bad. I'm gonna just stop here because I am beat. I think I did too much yesterday. This is Lake of the Clouds, I think.